engaged? Well, first of all, I want to uh, thank you, Marge, and uh, People for the American Way for inviting me. So on behalf of myself and the New York City Council Progressive Caucus, thank you for uh, including us in this panel conversation. You know, I think uh, New York City Council's involvement in this matter is testimony to the fact, uh, to the effective, effectiveness of this movement moment, right? We heard about what LA had done. We heard about what some other municipalities had done. And we decided that obviously there was no way that we could stand back and we needed to weigh in. And so I think that that speaks to the fact that this mobilization and this rallying and galvanizing that is happening is leading to change. So in the New York City Council, of which we are 51 members, and we represent 8.3 million people in the city of New York. I know it is a city that is really looked upon by many others as an example. We have had incredibly strong campaign finance laws for the past two decades, and we continue to make them stronger. Whether or not you participate in our campaign finance program, you cannot accept any money from corporations or lobbyists, um, um, corporations uh, and LLCs, and that's a really significant. And we continue to look at ways of in expanding uh, disclosure. Clearly, uh, the, the Supreme Court decision will impact also uh, what could happen on the ground in terms of independent uh, expenditures, et cetera. But personally, this was definitely a moment where we could not be silent. When you look at the community and the district that I represent, which is a low-income community, which is a historically disenfranchised community, when you're talking about a community of color, uh, these are the people, we are the people that are left out of the conversation and money can drown out and attempt to drown out our voices. And I think that mobilizing and being in the streets and having the numbers to really put pressure on the system is a way that we're going to lead to this constitutional amendment, which I think there's no other way around it. I think uh, what was just said earlier is, is clear, that we have to take it out of the court's hands and give it back to the people, and this is the moment to do that. So uh, I really want to thank everyone that is lending their voice and their effort to this cause, and I know that New York City Council sent a very strong message. We were overwhelmingly in support of that resolution, and we will continue to encourage other municipalities and other states hopefully, to really send a similar message.